bad news. Well, good news for the batteries, they are okay. But bad news for the solar panel that I cracked, shattered. I tested the, um, what is the smoke over there? Something burning over there? There's a gas station nearby. Maybe it's just dust. Well, yeah. So I tested the panel and it seems like it's like over twice weaker than the other one. So that one gave like 50 watts of power and the other one at the same time gave like 120 even 150 so a lot weaker and now I can see why if you look closer you can see the shadows that the cracks are casting to the cells so it's like half the or even more than half the panel is in shade so yeah and Another bad thing is that there's no coating over here. I thought that there was some kind of a kind of a do you call it coating? Well, coating, some kind of plastic thing wrap on top of that. But as I was cleaning out the rainwater, I cut my palm. So definitely nothing on top of the glass. There are pieces coming out now, so... That's not good, but... Yeah, I think I can replace the glass with a, I don't know, plexiglass, plastic glass option, because I don't feel comfortable. Well, I think the glass would be cheaper, but I think it glass seems to be like two millimeters thick so that's pretty thin and I'm not that comfortable working with glass so plexiglass or acrylic stuff seems to be okay but it's more expensive than glass but I don't have no option because I saw there was some water going through the cracks to the cells and they are not gonna do any good for the cells so I have to replace that and also we are planning to leave for the big trip biggest trip that I've done with this boat next Sunday today is Thursday so or next Monday but yeah so I have to get it tomorrow because most of the hardware stores that sell or cut that kind of a class are closed during the weekend so well yeah enough about that today I have some exciting news well first of all I found that while I was working it was like garbage well it's not that good but it's pretty smooth might do table to here. I removed the old one last year because it was always on the way. But now, if I could do it so that it's not on the way, you could still use it here. It would be nice. And yeah, also I received. Found it. LED strip. Five meters so should be enough to go from there from that point all the way back here and a little bit more the same thing over there so I'm gonna do kind of a mood lighting thing over here because this LED light over here it's good but it's a bit too bright and a bit too greenish bluish kind of a color that it has. But this one should be warm. And it's gonna be 
under here. So it's not gonna be direct, it's gonna be like... What do you call this? Reflective light? Yeah. Should be pretty subtle and... yeah. And at some point I might do a dimmer for it, but it depends how powerful that is. Because that's not that powerful, I know. But I got it because I don't need much power. So, yeah. Let's try it at some point. If today. So. I've been wiring the, um, well, running wires for the LED strips. So, they should be. Well, let's put the 12 volt power on. Everything is okay, it should light when I turn this. Oh yeah. So can run this over there, put the switch over here somewhere. Then I got this wire coming on this side. So I'm not gonna cut the strip in half. Put the other half over there, another half over there. Yep. Sun is setting again. It was a long day. There, yeah, I got the LED strips done. Well, they are almost, almost good to go. I'm gonna place this somewhere. Just made some tests with this kind of a potentiometers to dim it or adjust the uh, to brightness. But yeah, I got some smoke out of this, so I think it's not gonna work just like connecting straight to here. I think it needs some kind of a transistors, resistors between those. But the good thing was that I got those from a, this kind of a dimmer that was used in the in like a home lamp which works in the AC. But those potentiometers, this uh, this work in DC, so. Yeah, I think I have to do some research on this. Be really nice to use. I got two of these. I know I know that these don't cost anything, but it's always fun to use something that somebody's thrown away. Get some new life out of it. Also, I'm gonna put another dimmer over here to adjust the the flow with the water because it's too powerful. It's gonna it's always always gonna. Water goes almost out of the sink, so be nice to adjust the. Yeah. It's also gonna save some water because, yeah, you probably seen it's too violent. But yeah, let's put the LEDs on. Voila! A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, too much stuff, but the lights are good. What do you think? Let's go on the other side. Check this. Well, almost nothing. Which is good. I see something, but not much. They are definitely warmer than this. It's like white. Or even greenish. These are maybe too yellow, but we're gonna find out once we're gonna use those in a real dark situation because now it's still pretty light outside. But yeah, I'm gonna end this now. But tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day. I'm gonna start building my new invention, and that one is gonna be. Pretty cool if it works. If it doesn't, well, yeah. 
I got plenty of those stuff that I that didn't work as planned, but it doesn't stop me from trying. So, thanks again for watching and remember to subscribe if you want to see more and yeah, I hope you have a good day. See you on the next one. Bye bye.